Welcome back. Health coach Camille Watson is here now to talk about checking ingredients and snacks to make sure your kids are staying focused at school. Good to see you this afternoon. Thank you. It's good to be here. So there are lots of options out there. And this there can are. be kind of confusing and hard for parents right. when you're trying to figure out what can you give your kids that's not bad for them. Exactly. And especially when they're having a birthday party at school or something like yeah. that. You know, so many times it's easy to go in and buy the, the, the cupcakes that have, mm -hmm. you know, blue icing stacked up three right. inches tall. On them. <laughs> so I, there's some things that you can look for to make you a, a healthier option. Okay. Now, these are still not things that I would want my family to chow down on every day of the mm -hmm. week, but it does make it healthier. So you want to look for minimal sugar. Okay. So maybe muffins. I brought, brought some muffins today. Mm -hmm. Maybe some muffins instead of some cupcakes. Okay. Uh, it would be good to, mm -hmm. to leave off all that icing and everything. Right. And then uh, high fructose corn syrup is an ingredient that you always mm -hmm. want to avoid. It adds to the sugar problem. There's also a lot of toxins mm -hmm. in high fructose corn syrup. You know, I'm always surprised how much sugar there is in food. I mean, oh, it's hard to find amount. things without yeah. a lot of sugar in it. Well, our kids are eating about 50 pounds of sugar a year. Wow. And that is one statistic I read. Another one I read is that in general, we're all eating about 150 pounds of sugar a year. Now, I'm not eating that, so somebody's getting mine. Right. <laughs> But how much should we have? Well, a lot uh, less than that. You should be getting your sugar from fruits. Okay. Really, I mean, any any table sugar you eat is extra and is not good for you. Mm -hmm. So you know, that just just know that as you go into it. Okay. So I've got some cookies here, right. and and a lot of times it just is a matter of changing brands. Mm -hmm. uh, so these cookies don't have any bad ingredients in it. Another bad ingredient I want to mention is artificial dyes and, and flavorings. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of popsicles out there that are colored red. And they have a red food dye in them, and that causes hyperactivity. And why would you want to do that to your child's hmm. teacher? Really, right. you know, to give them a whole class full with enough throughout the day. And, and you don't want to deal with it yourself when you come home and you have a child who is tired and wired. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can, this is actually uh, colored with strawberries. Oh, okay. okay. So it's a different option that you have out there. So there's all kinds of healthy options out there that are still fun and right. taste really good, and and won't cause problems at the end of and the day. And what are these? These are just some bars that I found at Costco, oh, and they okay. have healthy ingredients. So a really important thing to do is to turn over and look at the ingredients label, mm -hmm. and, and you'll find names of real food here. You won't find chemical names okay. or you know names of dyes or so things like that. Chances are, if you can't pronounce it, it's probably not something. Exactly. You should be exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yes. All right, good. Yeah. And um, where can people go for more tips? Um, I have a blog on my website, CamilleWatson.com, and it talks about all of this in more detail. All right. Good to see you. We always That's appreciate you having you here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. All right.